Is it possible that a matchup between Rick Pitino and Tom Izzo in the NCAA tournament with a chance to go to the Final Four be considered a surprise? Adashina Koike on the floor of the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, New York, where the Sweet 16 regional semifinal games have been played in the East Region, both Michigan State and Louisville advancing to meet each other here in the Elite Eight on Sunday. Now, the reason why I asked that question to start is because just over a month ago, both of these teams were at a crossroads to their seasons. The Michigan State Spartans on February 7th lost a home game at the Breslin Center to the Illinois Fighting Illini, dropping their Big Ten record to an un-Tom Izzo like 6-4 in the Big Ten. Now, just over a week later, on February 18th, the Louisville Cardinals came here to Syracuse, New York, and lost to the Syracuse Orange, losing their third game in a stretch of four games. And then just four days later, one of their starting guards, Chris Jones, was thrown off the team. But it's how you finish the season that counts, and one of these teams will be able to say that they finished their 2015 season in Indianapolis and the Final Four. In game number one. The Louisville Cardinals, the number four seed, defeated the number eight seed, the NC State Wolfpack, by a score of 75 to 65 in the ball game. Louisville's little man came up huge. Terry Rozier, the guard, 17 points, 14 rebounds in the game as well. He played all 40 minutes, and he also played under the weather as well. But that doesn't mean that Louisville's actual big man didn't play well because he did. Montrez Howell led the Cardinals with 24 points in the ball game. He also had seven rebounds and four assists. Louisville outscored NC State 40 to 24 in the paint. And in game number two, it was the number seven seed Michigan State Spartans pulling off another upset against the number three seed, the Oklahoma Sooners, by a score of 62 to 58. Guard Travis Trice of the Michigan State Spartans follows up his 23-point performance in the round of 32 win against the number two seed, Virginia Cavaliers, with a 24-point performance against the Sooners. One of his backcourt mates, Denzel Valentine, chipped in with 18 points in the ball game. Both Trice and Valentine hit four three-pointers each in the ball game. And after the game, our Julia Morris spoke with one of the frontcourt players of the Michigan State Spartans, Gavin Schilling. He had eight points in the ball game, and all game long he was battling underneath against Ryan Spangler and Tyshawn Thomas of the Oklahoma Sooners. And Julia asked him to begin their conversation. How was it going up toe-to-toe -to -toe against one of the best front court lines in the nation in Oklahoma? Um, you know, I mean, they are a tough front court, you know. I don't think it's anything, you know, we haven't seen, but, um, you know, it was a battle down there, you know. They, they're two talented players, and I think we held our ground, you know. Uh, we, we rebounded with them, we battled with them, and uh, we came out with a victory at the end. You talk about it being a battle, you know, is there anything that was, like, bothering you throughout the game, or what, what was kind of it, what was it like? Um, I don't know, you know, I think they, they caught a few fouls, you know, at the end of the game, um, you know, when, uh, when the big man drove. But, um, you know, we didn't let that, you know, get in the way from uh, carrying us down. And we, we picked it back up and we got the win. I know in the first half it was all Oklahoma. What did you guys do? What do you think was the biggest problem in the first half? Um, I, I just think we came out kind of kind of lousy. You know, um, they made a, a few shots at the beginning that kind of that kind of put us down. and uh, But we didn't let, a, let that, you know, lift us all the way down. You know, we picked it up and uh, we got the win. What did Coach Izzo say to you guys at the break? Um, he just told us we just all need to play harder and uh, with more energy, especially uh, Brandon. You know, he's, he's a key guy, and uh, if he plays with energy, you know, everyone else is going to play with energy. You know, um, you know we follow his lead, and uh, we, we did that. We followed uh, Brandon and I mean, uh, Denzel and Travis' lead as well, and we got the win. Yeah, you, you know, you talk about Travis. He's a guy that was on the bench earlier in the year, what, and now he stepped it up big, especially in the tournament. What has he meant for the team? Uh, he's meant a lot. You know, um, he's been clutch all year long, and, um, you know, he hit some free throws at the end that kind of closed the game out, and that's what we need from him. And you had some pretty big plays there, too, and it seems like the crowd got really into it. You know, how do you feed off of that energy? Um, you know, I mean, there were a lot of fans out there, you know, more than I expected, you know, behind our bench, a lot of supporters. I think that really got us going as well. And, um, you know, we just made some plays that, that all got us going and, you know, just went up, went up from there. Yeah, you guys did have a lot of fans here, but your first time playing in the Dome, what was it like? Uh, it was it was nice. I mean, I haven't really played in the environment as such, and um, it was nice, you know, playing in the Dome for the first time, and uh, I like it.
And now I know last year was the first year under Coach Izzo where a senior team did not make the Final Four. Is that something that weighs on your mind at all when you think about this team this year? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's in all of our minds, you know, that the you know, streak has been broken. But uh, hopefully, you know, our, our mindset right now is just to start a new streak. And with that in mind, you know, you have Louisville coming up next. So what are you guys going to do to ensure that you do make that Final Four in Indianapolis? Um, you know, we just don't want to feel that feeling we, we did last year after we lost to UConn. So we're going to just try our best to mentally prepare, you know, for a Sunday and to get the win. So Schilling and the rest of the Michigan State front line better be ready for Montrez Harrell and the Louisville Cardinals. Louisville is looking to make their third Final Four in the past four years. Louisville won the NCAA championship in 2013. For the Michigan State Spartans, despite their tournament success under Tom Izzo, they're looking to make their first NCAA Final Four since 2010 and looking to win their first national championship since Tom Izzo's only national championship at Michigan State in the year 2000. So stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com where we will have continuing coverage of the 2015 NCAA tournament, including a feature on Louisville freshman guard Quinton Snyder. He has really stepped up since being inserted into the starting lineup just a little bit less than a month ago. Snyder scoring in double figures in each of the NCAA tournament games for the Louisville Cardinals, including scoring 14 here tonight against the North Carolina State Wolfpack. From the floor of the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, New York, my name is Adashina Korki for AlotOfSportsTalk.com.